part of Virgin Media's Connections for a Good Campaign. We're highlighting some of the small changes that can make a big, big difference for our planet. And an easy place to start is to reduce your food waste by, lo uh, by loving your leftovers. Yes, loving and using food blogger Sinead Deli Hunty. Sorry, Della Hunty has mm, oodles of good mm. tips oodles on how to noodles. use up our leftovers <laughs> instead of feeding the bin with them because we are guilty of that, I think, aren't we? Time. No, and like we all are, you know, even like, you know, I'm a big, you know, passionate, like minimizing my food waste, but like, you know, still you kind of fall into that trap. So the big thing for me is like about how you preserve your food, first of all. So like storing it in the fridge. So like, I use like lots of jars like these, like either just leftover jars or like empty glass lunch boxes yeah. or like your resealable plastic tubs. So they're great like to store your potatoes like this, you know, that they're not going to go brown. And then likewise, then you can be like, okay, what am I going to do with them? Do you know what causes a massive argument in our house every week? Is well, the supermarkets have best before dates on them. Yeah. And like vegetables and fruit. And yeah. I'm looking at like stuff that is perfectly fine, yeah. but it says on the tin or on the whatever. Label. Yeah. It's yeah. out of date. And I my know. wife wants to throw it in the bin mm. and it, it wrecks my head. Like, are, do vegetables, do they last longer? Do you know, is it about taste or about feel or should you kind of be... Like, I definitely like if you look at something, really. you know, um, obviously you can see if there's mould or, you know, any badness. Yeah. But like, if you can cut that away, generally from like a fresh vegetable or fresh fruit, you know, and then see, you're probably like left with a fair amount of goodness. But I suppose the big thing is that we don't buy too much to start with, that yes. like, it's all going to go off. Big so fact. that's where like, I always work with like a list, you know, when I am going shopping. But before I'd make the list I'd look in the press and see what I have or check mm. in the fridge you know see so be like oh yeah I have 10 oranges already don't need to get oranges you know if you normally oranges are a staple or whatever we must have about 20 jams and <laughs> strawberry yes. jams yeah, strawberry like jams that mustard and that's stuff. the thing yeah. so it's checking like seeing what you have you know and then seeing okay what can I use up what actually don't I need at all and then maybe what fresh things you know do I need to add to the mix so that's like we'll say this recipe like I just have onions and um, some scallions in here you could use onion you could use leek whatever you have at home just literally cooking them down you can add a bit of ginger if you had it like lemongrass and then it's like literally making a nice sauce so ramen is like from Asian culture we'll say um, and it's like pho we'll say in Vietnam or like mm. your traditional Irish soup here or your stew so just making a nice sauce with some soy sauce a little bit of peanut butter if you had it at home some dried chili if you have or even if you only had we'll say a lot of the pinot rayus that are around mm. no tom you're a big fan. big fan um like they're gorgeous just like packed with flavor you have your oil in there as well so you can literally cook everything down with that and like that's just where we're adding like the flavors through so i'm just mixing all of these together you get a nice thick paste and then just adding that in so we'll say like you know if you were braising meat you'd use red wine or like you know fish you might use really good, white wine really Ooh, this really is really like good. a takeaway mm. and i mean that in as but, a combo. But this is it. This you is can like make it all at it's home. Delicious. And it's just using simple flavours, like garlic, ginger, like just stunning flavours to use. So just some <coughs> vegetable stock, you can use chicken or fish, and then some coconut uh, milk. Again, if you had like leftover cream from a dessert at the weekend, some creme fraiche, if you're using creme fraiche, add it in right at the end. And this is just going to essentially bring it up to the boil and then mix it all the way down. So just like, again, making your soup. And again, if you had like tougher vegetables, you can add them in at this stage as well to cook them through. So that will essentially come down to this nice creamy sauce here. Now, if you're looking at these little black spots, it's in your dish as well. I added in some seaweed. So we live on an oh, wow. island. Yeah, seaweed is amazing. And it needs to be used more like in Irish cooking is and Irish kitchens. Is there seaweed in this now? Yeah, so oh, dehydrated wow. seaweed, um, like you can add it to your breads, add it to loads of different bakes. Gores and dishes add so much flavor, like it's packed with flavor. And uh, how do you cook seaweed? Or what so way does it's, it come? it's generally dried when you buy it. Oh, yeah, you can rehydrate yeah, it in yeah. water, right. but like we'll say we're rehydrating it in this because so it's going to be in a liquid. Crack it into that, is it? Yeah, yeah. You can have it milled, or you can have it like you know in big strands. And is it really nutritious? Packed with nutrients, yeah. Is so it? full of our minerals. You know, um, iodine is in it as well, so great for our, our eyesight. Yeah. So it's really, really good. And like. You know, it's free food essentially if you want to go foraging for it. But like, there's loads of great right. Irish, um, like seaweed suppliers here in Ireland that like will look after it and dry it out for you and everything. So then I just have like some shredded chicken left over from dinner again yesterday. So just popping that in. Again, I have some egg in. One of you got, yeah, the, I got eggs. the egg. Yeah. So, you know, Yum. again, like boiled eggs, you know, they're just so versatile and you can like add them in. Some leftover potatoes. So, you know, if anyone likes a mass man curry at home, like that, 
favorites. I love that. Yeah, one of my favorites. Yeah. And like, in terms of like your, my, I'm racing through my. Do you have the potatoes <laughs> or do you have noodles? Noodles. I have, I have potatoes. Oh, do you have potatoes? Free, yeah. 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 Noodles are delicious. So again, you could go both. You could go neither. Um, and there are things you can always like add in at the end. If you'd left over rice, you can serve it over that. And even in terms of what portions you're using of everything, you can be kind of free with it, can't that's you? That's it. And if you There's like no more of a flavour, yeah, that's the thing. Or like I use a little bit of shrimp paste, but you know, many people at home Yum. wouldn't have that. Okay, so what have you put in there? Because this tastes really good. So there's the... <laughs> so we had peanut butter. Yeah. Soy sauce. Mm. I put in a little bit of fish sauce as well. So that's okay, really yeah, strong. I know it's really, really tangy, but a small bit. A little bit of shrimp paste. Shrimp and paste, right? Yeah. I didn't think so now that. this is pungent. Okay. Okay. But again, just a pick, and you get like a really, really strong flavour from it. And then some dried chilies. So okay. that was our paste. And then the coconut milk, stirred that through with some veg stock. Mm. And then yeah. what? You bring it to the boil, let it simmer, and you're done. Exactly. Yeah, wow. so really you could tasty. like have loads of this done and then you can be like, okay, what do I have in the press? What do we have? Like some fresh spinach, just like literally break it up with your hands, pop that in, that'll all wilt down. Likewise, if you had like some root veg at home, just grate it in. You don't have to cook it, just all done. Like literally, you're just heating everything through. It's delicious, Sinead. Thank you very much. Really you're welcome. Enjoy. Enjoy.